what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A shooting occurred early Tuesday morning in Beverly Hills, California at a Mulholland Drive mansion. Four people were affected, one dead, two in critical condition, and one sustained an ankle injury that was unrelated to gunfire. Backstory, police say that a party is going on that they believe to be uh, in honor of an NFL player. Now, they couldn't confirm if it was an NFL player or not, uh, there was reports that that NFL player was Odell Beckham. And then there were other reports that it was a guy who was recently drafted into the NFL. In any event, the party is going on. There's about a hundred or so people there. Everything's cool. There's some guys having a high stake gambling game going on. Guys get upset about losing their money. Next thing they know, armed robbers are coming in and they're shooting at everybody. Now, one guy posted a video online saying that, you know, everything was cool. He was bragging about being at the party and how, you know, it was all luxurious, you know, people showing off their cars and jewelry and fam. Anytime I go to those type of events, I always make sure that there's plenty of security because I know, man, when you're moving around, man, you got to think like a jacker. You can't just be out there just willy-nilly thinking it's sweet because the jackers are always looking. They're always lurking. And I bet you anything that the dudes who did it, who came in there with masks, they probably was already there. They probably would just walked outside and uh, went in the bathroom, put their mask on, and then came back out. Or they got a call from a text from one of the dudes inside. Come on through, man. Y'all come on through. Bam. They, that food was probably inside of the house, eating the food, drinking up the drink, enjoying the environment and everything. And then it, it was time for it to go down. And he was like, you know, just like everybody else. So this type of stuff happened all the time. Most of the time, when there's a robbery at a, at a home uh, or like a, a gambling spot, it's almost always an inside job. This is what happens. This happened, what, what about, this was like maybe six years ago, a dude got killed by my studio. This dude, it was an inside, another inside job, you know? This happens all the time. So if you're gonna put yourself in that type of situation where money is involved, then you gotta go in there and make sure there's plenty of security or you got to make sure you're strapped or all the above because these fools are lurking. And a lot of these cats, man, they so trigger happy. It, sometimes they don't even be about the money. They just want to shoot somebody. So you got to be real careful when you're moving around in those type of circles. I don't know how this is going to play out. I would hope Odell Beckham is not involved. Uh, any of these guys has got a whole lot to lose. They say that they believe that it was actually a nine tray uh, crip who was having the party. And they use the NFL story to cover just in case something went bad at the mansion during the party. They also said that neighbors had called the police hours before the shooting 
because the neighbors said that they had broken the uh, social distancing or, or the large crowd ban that was in place. So who knows? The guys who made that phone call, that's who. Who y'all think is responsible? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the talking about?